was not a good weekend for Ron DeSantis either. A new poll is out showing Ron DeSantis is down 20 points in his home state of Florida. So what kind of presidential campaign is it when you can't even come close to the main dude, President Trump, in your home state of Florida? Now, President Trump calls Florida home as well. Um, Ron DeSantis got confronted on this. Boy, Maria Bartiromo, you got to love her over at Fox. She brought it to him. Listen. But here's this weekend's headline from the Politico playbook. Failure to launch Florida Governor Ron DeSantis' campaign <laughs> to topple Donald Trump has stalled. We are way behind, <laughs> says a top DeSantis PAC official, sounding the alarm. What happened? <laughs> oh, Maria, these are narratives. The media does not want me to be the nominee. I think that's very, very clear. Why? Because they know I'll beat Biden. But even more importantly, they know I will actually deliver on all these things. In many respects, he's right that the media doesn't want Ron DeSantis as president, but the media doesn't want President Trump as president either. The media doesn't want any Republican as president. And Ron DeSantis and President Trump's policies are probably not too far off from each other. The difference right now is the fact that only President Trump can bring the vengeance of a single-term president. He doesn't have to worry about appeasing anybody. He doesn't have to worry about what people are going to think for a re-election. He can go in there and get the retribution that we deserve with this government. Ron DeSantis can't do that. Plus the fact Juan DeSant Ron DeSantis is coming off whiny to me. Uh, he, he's, he's not engaging. He's not charismatic. Uh, this is uh, MSNBC's uh, Meet the Press on NBC. Watch this. You need to be able to connect with people. And I think this is what's missing with Ron DeSantis. And I think we've seen it in years past. There's a lot of comparisons to Scott Walker and Jeb Bush. And I think one of the biggest problems with them was they were a little dull. And I think what we're seeing is Ron DeSantis gets out here. People are seeing him more and more. He doesn't make people feel anything. Whatever you care about Donald Trump, he makes you feel something. Ron DeSantis seems to lack that. I will agree with him there. And I will also tell you this, Scott Walker was one of my leading candidates. That's the guy I wanted back, back then, the governor of Wisconsin. He's a fabulous mind, a great conservative, and he kind of fell flat when he came out for president. I'm seeing much of the same thing with Ron DeSantis, but Ron DeSantis, as opposed to Scott Walker, Ron DeSantis brought it on himself. Ron DeSantis didn't need to go head to head with the gorilla, President Trump, okay? You don't want to go head to head with this man. Proof is, let's just show the double box again of President Trump and, and Joe Biden. Here's why you don't want to go head to head with President Trump. You got one going to a UFC fight in Vegas, my kind of guy. Another who needs to be slathered up by his hospice nurse with, with, with sunblock as he hangs out on the beach shuffling around.